Water. Yeah. Yeah. And S3, I think. Pardon? S3. An Astra, yeah. Thanks. Hi. Ready to play, Mr. Kaliningrad. Несколько слов о сегодняшней программе. Что вы будете играть? Почему вы выбрали ту или иную музыку? Uh, some words about uh, what we will do today. Which, uh, which music you will be playing? I'm um, going to play... Um, um, I, I like to s s call it a bit of a historical... Um, some of it's historical, some of it's now. Yeah. Trying to explain why... Um, where Depeche Mode have come from. And... Uh, and to try and explain um, what our music's about. But uh, I play some um, good Depeche Mode remixes. I play some, uh, some, some old stuff and some new stuff. This, um, I'm sort of quite poppy, you know, quite commercial, really. Вы участник супергруппы. Что заставляет вас выступать одного как диджея? Вы участник супергруппы. Почему вы будете только один? Почему вы решили выступать сегодня как диджей? Ну, Мартин Гор был диджеем недавно. Он диджеем в Берлине, он диджеем в Лондоне. Я сделал это примерно два года назад. Um, I have a record label, Toast Away. I have a group called Client, and they used to run a club in in London. And they asked me to DJ, and I started to DJ, DJ it, and I quite enjoyed it. And it's um, I was trying to. Вообще Мартин этим занимался, но начал это дело два года назад. Мартин попросил попробовать это дело в Лондоне, и это ему очень понравилось. It is actually just, um, you know, we quite enjoy it. And also, um, normally, for instance, um, Depeche Mode, you know, we, we can't do so many concerts on a tour, so we wouldn't get to go to Kaliningrad, for instance. Uh, but uh, when I DJ, you know, I can go to places where Depeche haven't been, you know. So it's quite, it's quite good fun, it's quite interesting. <laughs> Is it uh, on the business for you to play like a DJ, or is it a hobby? It's a hobby, but um, interestingly enough, um, uh, because I have my record label and um, client, it also funds uh, my DJ and funds my other work as well. So. It's not a biz. It's n it's sort of my second job, really. You know, mm -hmm. and I've only you know I quite enjoy it. But after um, tonight's concert and next week, I won't be doing any DJing for another year because mm -hmm. the Depeche are recording. You know, mm -hmm. so I've only got three more to do. You know. Несколько слов о настроении нового альбома. Какая его будет окраска, как что, какие композиции. Some words about what album this will look like. We haven't started it yet. We start recording in California in January, middle of January, and we hope to release the album in October. Какое будет настроение у пластинки, характер музыки? What type of music will be? Um, hard to say at the moment. We have um, a new producer called a man called Ben Hillier, and uh, obviously, <coughs> you know, it's going to sound a bit like Depeche Mode, but um, we try to push the barriers and try and um, make something different. Um, but uh, we won't know that until we go in the studio. У них будет новый продюсер, он будет подбирать ему музыку. Она будет характерна для пешмута, но они что-то пытаются внести что-то свое новое. Спасибо. Денис Тарагов, Комсомольская правда. Челси, ты ее любишь?
Yeah, I mean, it's great, fantastic. He's got so much money. Yeah. We're the richest <laughs> club in the world. I mean, it is strange. It is really, really strange because, I mean, he has got so much money. And I don't know where it came from. Um, I don't know if he's going to be... He's got more bodyguards than the Queen. You know, it's incredible. But um, hopefully he's going to live for a few more years. You know, or he won't get arrested like his colleagues. <laughs> We were, you know, children really. Uh, we hadn't even been outside England, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, and we're going to Rotterdam, you know, mm -hmm. Holland, you know. Mm -hmm. So you you learn as you go along, don't you? I will know it now, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> but it used to be called. Um, what did it used to be called? Cold. Cold. Uh, what did Kaliningrad? What was it called when it was German? Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. Yeah. Uh, do you know what British uh, air forces was blasted the center of the city, the tower? Yeah, there was a war. Yeah, I know. Well, I didn't know who did it. I didn't know it was the British that actually bombed it, but I, I realised that you was... I mean, your location isn't very good, really, is it? It's in the sort of... Uh, it was really in the middle of the war zone, wasn't it? But... Uh, and we blasted a lot of things, but all I can say is the Germans started it first. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't start the war, and they bombed us first. Uh, so, of course, we regret, regret that, you know. Что вы, кстати, думаете вообще о современной музыке? Куда она идет? Может, может быть, это может будущее музыки это ритм блюз, R&B или еще что-то такое? Вообще будущее музыки. Uh, what do you think about uh... contemporary? Yeah. Uh, he asked, what what do you think about uh, contemporary music, modern mm. music? Which way uh, she goes to the future? Mm. Um, I'd, I mean, I like um, all all types of music. You know, I like good good songs. So you know, I don't mind if it's in what style it's done. You know, and um, I don't say I don't think this is a classic period for pop music. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, in a few years' time, maybe another classic. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's, I mean, it's not as as classic as you know the '60s, for instance, uh, parts of the '70s or the early '80s. Mm -hmm. Were for pop music, you know. So, um, you know, there isn't the big stars. I mean, if you know, I mean, even now, 
U2 and Depeche Mode and REM, groups that came up in the 70s and the 80s are still very popular, you know. You know, we're not really producing big superstars uh, from this generation. Mm -hmm. Ну, собственно говоря, что его никогда не он никогда не раздумывал там, какие стили, ему всегда нравились хорошие песни, может быть, сейчас не очень хороший период для музыки, потому что группы, которые, так сказать, родились и продолжают быть великими, если я прав, они золотой период в музыке, это 60-е, 70-е, начало 80-х. Те группы, когда, которые начали играть тогда, да, ну, там, YouTube, Alien, там, даже Depeche Mode, они продолжают быть супер популярными, мега старыми, вот, в то время, как в настоящее время, ну, что-то ничего особо не наблюдается, насколько я понимаю. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Про проект Клин хотела спросить, почему он начал заниматься продюсированием девушек? Ага. Uh, she wants uh, know, uh, to know more about uh, client project. Mm -hmm. Why uh, did you start to produce the girls? Um, they used to be um, <coughs> in a group called Technique mm -hmm. uh, that did some uh, concerts with Depeche Mode on the last tour. And um, Kate lives opposite me and basically we was in the pub and you know they gave me some songs that they've been writing and I like them so uh, had to decide which way to go you know and, I, and decided to form a record label and uh, take it from there and it's been very interesting you know and it's nice working with women you know because I always worked with men you know in a boy band mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's nice um, uh, working with women in the music industry you know? mm -hmm. Ну, а, а, значит, сначала была группа техник, которая разогревала Кипешмо в последнем туре, потом они как вроде впали, познакомились, и девушки, девушки принесли песни, ему очень понравился материал, он решил заняться продюсированием, то есть вот есть трек от своего лейбл «Тост Хавай», и сейчас он говорит, что очень интересно работать именно с женщинами, потому что современный мир – это мир, так сказать, бойс групп ну, мальчуковых групп, то есть и очень интересно по этим работать именно с девушками. Тебе не нравится ли новая такая профессия продюсера? Would you like your new, new profession as a producer? Oh, I mean, it's just these, uh, I mean, DJing, I mean, I've got about six jobs at the moment, you know. Um, У него шесть работ сейчас. You know, but uh, my main job, unfortunately, or fortunately, Главное is, uh, is with Depeche Mode, and um, Depeche Mode. it just means that my DJing and my record label will be put on hold for a couple of years, you know. But um, I, I aim to um, expand the record label after the next Depeche Mode tour. Ну вот у него шесть профессий, к несчастью, основная сейчас Depeche Mode, а он очень хочет развивать свой рекорд лейбл и работать как DJ, поэтому он надеется это все удержать в руках и заняться этим плотно после следующего мирового тура. Ну, этот лейбл, как бы, да, для того, чтобы продвигать молодые коллективы. Ну, это, да. Тут уже Лора из Бегудей хочет прямо власти. Да? Передать. Да. Давайте вопросы быстрее, время. В интернете я прочитал о том, что Мартин Гор говорил о вас, то, что вы, в принципе, больше бизнесмен, чем музыкант. Правда ли это, и согласны ли вы с этим? He read in internet what Martin Gore says about you, what you not uh, so musician as a businessman. <laughs> Martin right? and what do you think about this? Martin's a better musician than me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Martin, he's better. He's a better musician than uh, most people. Martin is a very talented musician, more talented than I am, and a large number of other musicians. Кстати, это не осложняет, такое мнение не осложняет отношения в группе. Вообще, как отношения в группе после стольких лет существования? By the way, what? Отношения, sorry. Uh, how, how do you feel uh, yourself in so old and popular band after more than 20 years common, uh, common uh, yeah. movie? Well, you know, I mean, um, when we first started, it was, um, you know, you had to, you know, you had to be realistic because most 
careers only last a few years in the uh, music industry so it's been a fantastic dream um,